KC TV lawan rashipi da ka frank yamaha the maxi sport scooter aerox 155 Kasen Kongres akan khatlai terik urumpang arja afulai kelas saya madan yang kejersi bamsab jongka sorkan Meghalaya Democratic Alliance kita kentut nado kekam kayu doyang tu ke bamsab dia kau tu ke bamsab nak pisah balamang banyak hun tema persia yang kejeng pang covid ke bamsab nak sah bahagia skim bat kwe kwe yang kecaci lapelai pajba dan kasen Kongres akan kejeng alang kabla long hanong bak selong akan balas sakilang do pawan kera ubelong chairman jongka media and publicity jongka All India Congress Committee Haringkat ke jing sakhi lang jong ke Bupita Sarma bat u Anthony Matthew ki belong ke media coordinator jong ke All India Congress Committee. In every election, whether you are ruling party or you are in the opposition, what is important for the voter is to assess the performance of the outgoing government of the incumbent government based on the promises made in the manifesto, that's only too normal in a democracy. And the track record of the government, of the incumbent government, in the last five years, what have they done, what have they not done, what is it that they should not have done? So I was driving down from Guwahati to Shillong, and I saw some holdings of the BJP saying that we need to free Shillong, Meghalaya from corruption, from a corrupt government. I was, I asked, I called up Matthew. Matthew, am I wrong when I say that BJP was a part of this government? He said, no, these, of course they were. So imagine, the BJP also finds the MDA corrupt. Can you imagine? Self-certification, we are corrupt. Actually, that's what they are saying. We are corrupt. So, we've done some research. Not much effort required. Because every single citizen of this beautiful state knows what we are about to say. They are aware of what, what went wrong. Everybody knows that the temple of democracy, which is the assembly, how the dome fell. Who doesn't know about the dome? And it's a sad commentary that the kind of corruption that went into the allotment of tender of this assembly. Assembly, when I repeat, it's, it's the temple, the church of democracy. In that you were found to be corrupt. And it has never happened in the history of this country where you give a tender, a contract, to one bidder, denying the other two bidders that, sorry, you are not experienced, you cannot construct a dome, therefore we cannot give you the tender. Guess who gets the final subcontract? Those two companies which were denied the original contract. And they were denied because they had no experience in constructing a dome. They, are, they end up getting the work. Obviously, the dome, the dome had to fall. They were not experienced. And the officer who was responsible for this is now contesting elections. It's a textbook case. I think after the elections, Netflix will come up with a, a very entertaining serial on this. Unfortunately, it will be tragic. It won't even be comic. But that's, that's the kind of government Meghalaya has experienced for the last five. So that very officer is now contesting as the NPP candidate from North Shillong. Look at the cheek. Look at the shamelessness. In Hindi they say, Ek to chori upar se sina He is proud to be a thief. Obviously, he is not the only one. Obviously, he has the blessings of someone. Who is that someone? Everyone knows the answer. So, I won't go into the details of the companies. In the press release, you will have all the details of these two companies uh, who were given the subcontract of the dome. I would also not go into the figures because that's a very boring, longish press uh, conference. So, but the figures are also in the press release. Something which 
all of us, the entire country suffered from. But some parts of the country suffered from a double ramp. There was COVID and there was corrupt governments which were handling COVID management. COVID -19. In Meghalaya, there were 96,785 COVID cases and 816 crore was spent. Uh, 1,624 deaths. So, excretia payment was 816 crore. Manipur spent just a little over 100 crores for 1.4 lakh cases of COVID and 2,149 deaths. Just a comparison. See where, where Meghalaya stands. So, Meghalaya's COVID expenditure was 8 times more than that of Manipur. And even it had much lesser COVID cases and deaths. Where is the money gone? Everybody wants to know the answer. Where is that money gone? So, 119.73 crore being released by the center. The discrepancy is of 43.73 crores. Where is that money gone? Who has pocketed that money? Again, the director of health services who should have been held accountable for this discrepancy he is also contesting elections. Look at the joke. He is the UDP candidate from Shillong North. Who is the one behind all these people? First, they use these officers for corrupt practices. Then they protect those officers. Then they get them to resign. Then get them in their own fold. Come, fight elections. Together we will do more corruption. You were on the other side of the table, now you come on this side of the table. So the players will keep changing, interchanging. Under the table things will keep going on and Meghalaya will keep suffering. Why? When will it all stop? This must stop. The third charge in our charge sheet is the Meghalaya Urban Development Authority scam to Muda. No utilization certificate has been given and no one knows where that money was spent. This was for the development of the city. Where is the development? Where is the 500 crore rupees? Where is the utilization certificate? Where is the accountability? And these are not small numbers. This could have transformed the city. Mega shopping complex at Meghalaya Transport Corporation, uh, Jail Road. There it is also under the scanner. The government intends to spend more than 200 crores in a plot land measuring less than 50,000 square feet. Numbers speak for themselves. It smacks of corruption. Massive, brazen, shameless corruption. Now, a senior BJP leader and former minister, A.L. Heck, whose party was an alliance partner of this government, has also castigated the MDA government for spending such a huge sum of money for a shopping centre. As I said, within their own family, they are accusing each other. This is the state of affairs. You all covered the coal scam, the illegal mining and transportation of coal. The Meghalaya High Court in 2022 had appointed that uh, Justice BP Katake Committee, uh, retired judge of the Guwahati High Court. And in his report, he has stated 13 lakh metric tons of coal was illegally mined. 13 lakh metric tons. Mind-boggling thing. The report has been very scathing in its observation. But tell me, if any head road, was anyone punished? Was anybody held accountable? What happened? You can't put such a beautiful state to shame because of some corrupt leaders. 650 crores, that's the kind of scam we are talking about in this illegal mining and transportation of coal. 
650 crores. Now we come to the Sobhagya scale. The CAG rarely speaks these days. After 2014, we haven't heard much from the CAG. Suddenly everybody is quiet. But in the 2021 audit report, the CAG exposed a scam of 149 crores in the state power department. A daily firm was uh, given a turnkey project. There is an accusation that there was undue favor given to that firm. The irregularities in the power department include implementation of various projects which were commissioned from the ADB funds, the metering project, the smart metering project. The rice scam, rice which was meant for the poor, which should have ideally gone for the PDS beneficiaries, was found in Assam. It was taken away. 50 lakh, 50 lakh uh, kilo. kilo. Yeah. Can you imagine the kind of cruel people who would rob from the poor? Who does that? So even when, my, when I'm talking about it, my blood boils. I'm sure your blood boils too. I'm sure the blood of every single motor of Meghalaya is boiling right now. How can you rob from the poor? And this is taxpayers' money. You and I pay from our taxes so that the poor can be fed. That rice was smuggled for, for the open market. We all know about the cartelization which took place in the INFL business, how the prices were manipulated. This was in 2019 when the cartel was formed. A lot has been spoken about it, written about it. Then we have heard about the casino scam. How nepotism and favoritism, there, has, there have been charges of nepotism in how these three uh, licenses that were given. The church and other activists organization opposed the move, claiming that you cannot legitimize or legalize gambling. Then the government scrapped opening of these casinos. But the intention of the government came out very clear. Corruption with no regard to the social fabric of the state. No regard whatsoever. The, there are two families, uh, two ministers, everyone knows their name, I'll name the name of the company and you'll know who I'm talking about, the Dhar Construction Company, who doesn't know about the Dhar Construction Company. Again, nowhere in the country you will see two people, ministers in the government, own a company in their own name and they get all the contracts, most of the important construction contracts, road construction contracts, other contracts, government contracts for their company. Nowhere will you see this level of brazenness, this level of shamelessness in corruption. There is corruption in other parts of the country. I'm not saying there is no corruption in other parts of the country. But this brazenness is unknown in other parts of the country. We have heard about the police purchase scam and, and I'm reading, this is my 10th charge that we are reading. Believe me, there are hundreds of them. And it took us a lot of effort in shortlisting because each one of the scam was bigger than the previous one. But then we had to be brief, therefore we've only chosen 10 scams. So in the police purchase scam, uh, November 2, 2022, uh, an AIG was arrested, we all know about it, by the CID in connection with this mismanagement of procurement of vehicles. Friends, in five years, there is only one chance people get to punish a, a government which has so shamelessly indulged into the corruption, this kind of corruption. This opportunity will not come back till 2028. If you miss the opportunity now, 
you not only reward the corrupt, you encourage them to further indulge into corruption. Do we want that? I don't want to comment on the one gentleman who is the Brutus now. Mamta ji will understand who I am talking about. If she doesn't understand, she will understand in a few months or years. If he could do this to us, he will definitely do it to her also. We have all seen Team A, Team B, Team C, Team D, D. Everybody is aware of who is acting on whose behalf. Today some, somebody met me outside, said this time a lot of senior congress leaders are coming to Meghalaya. Why? I said because we are winning. We are coming here because we are absolutely confident of forming the next government in Meghalaya and ridding Meghalaya of the corrupt MDA government. Meghalaya can see through the collusion, the unholy alliance. Some alliances are visible, some <coughs> alliances are not visible. Meghalaya wants to vote for a five-star Meghalaya. Meghalaya wants to vote for these five commitments made by the Congress party. Meghalaya is absolutely confident that the times are changing for the state and they're changing for the better. The times will change when the government changes. <clears throat> we promise you that within the first 100 days, we will deliver on our promises. I have a small anecdote here, which you'll find very interesting. In 2018, the Congress party won Rajasthan, Madhya Pradesh and Chhattisgarh. And I repeat this example wherever I go because this is the example why people like me are in the Congress. Mr. Rahul Gandhi along with senior leaders, Mr. Rahul Gandhi was Congress President in 2018, came to Jaipur for the oath taking ceremony of Mr. Gehloth, went to Madhya Pradesh for Mr. Kamalna and then went to Chhattisgarh for Mr. Baghel. By the time his plane landed in Delhi on that evening of a December day, I am forgetting the date now. All the three governments had called the first cabinet meeting, signed the file for loan waiver of farmers. All the three governments before the sunset, before Rahul Gandhi returned to Delhi, the promises made to the voters of these three states were honored. That's the kind of commitment and we've stopped calling it a manifesto. In Hindi, we call it the Sankalp Patrana. We are determined to deliver. So this chart sheet in your left hand and in your right hand, keep our five commitments and then vote for the Congress. We are very confident that we will win.